Today I'd like to share a free tool you can use to draw more precisely. And best of all, it works in any digital art app on Windows 10 or 11. Photoshop, Krita, you name it. Let's see what it is. In a recent version of Microsoft Power Toys, a free add-on you can use to customize windows, you can enable several mouse cursor highlighting options. One of these options are full screen crosshairs that surround your cursor. At first, I passed this by thinking it wasn't useful to artists. But after a second thought, I realized that crosshairs could be used like a virtual ruler that follows your cursor while you're drawing. One example would be aligning the endpoints of a rectangle. Sure, you could erase or undo until you get the alignment correct, but how about just getting it right to begin with? Many art apps offer rulers or guides that can straighten your strokes, but they often have to be selected or enabled first. In some cases, it might be faster and more convenient just to have crosshairs you can use to align strokes at all times. That's not to mention maybe you want the look of a freehand drawing rather than one that looks too precise because you use tools. Let's look at how to get set up with these crosshairs, and then I'll show you some ways to use them. First, download and install Power Toys. Then open the mouse utilities and scroll down to the crosshair feature. Enable the crosshairs and use the default shortcut of Control-Alt-P to test it out. You can edit the shortcut to show and hide the crosshairs. I recommend doing this because Control-Alt-P is a common shortcut that may cause a conflict in your digital art app. I'll change it to Control-Alt-Shift-X so that there's little chance of that triggering anything else while I'm working. You can make your shortcut less complex, but you'll soon learn why I did it this way. There are options to customize the thickness, opacity, and color of the crosshairs. They should be easy to see, but not too distracting. Keep in mind that these crosshairs will be overlaid on top of a lot of different colored backgrounds, so choose a color that will always stand out. A vibrant color works well, but can influence your perception of color while working. So for that reason, you may prefer to use a neutral gray. Should you ever paint on a neutral gray canvas, you'll either need to make the canvas slightly lighter or darker, or change the color of the crosshairs temporarily. For this demonstration, I will keep the crosshairs a color you can easily see on your end. Instead of always having to use a multi-key shortcut to enable and disable the crosshairs, I can use a single key on my stream deck or use an express key on my drawing tablet. This is much more convenient and it works in any art app. Next, let's try using the crosshairs to aid us in drawing. Crosshairs can be useful for drawing anything that requires alignment. This could be multiple objects, handwritten text, or even repeating patterns like windows on a wall. It can also help to subdivide objects so you can better judge their proportions. One very useful way to use the crosshairs is to align facial features. For example, the outer edges of the nostrils align vertically with the inner corners of the eyes, and the outer corners of the mouth align with the centers of the pupils. Another way to utilize the crosshair guides is to help with vertical alignments in perspective drawings. When drawing in perspective, you'll need to connect a lot of points using vertical lines. Being able to align the stroke with the endpoint before you draw it makes for cleaner looking drawings that don't need as much cleanup with the eraser. The crosshairs can also be useful when drawing with a straight edge. I can easily align the corners of the drawing, making it much faster to draw. And the final way I've found to use these crosshairs is along with a ruler. Photoshop and many other art apps have a ruler that surrounds your canvas and represents the canvas dimensions. Rather than place dynamic ruler guides on the canvas, it may be more convenient just to align the crosshairs with the ruler ticks, and then freehand sketch to align objects or set distances. You can also use the crosshairs like crop marks to designate a safe area around the edges of your canvas. When you're finished with the crosshairs, you can easily disable them with your keyboard shortcut. I'm sure there are more ways you can take advantage of these crosshairs. Comment and share some examples with us if you discover any. That's all for this tutorial. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more digital art tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.